but you let me know if you have heard about him, if you have read about his bi biography. He had to travel from his city where he was born, Al Gailan in Iran, to Baghdad to be further achieve self purification, and spent years and years and years under the guidance of Mashaikh, purifying and striving against the spirit. The person who is born as a saint, the born as a righteous man. Now just imagine that if I claim to love him, and I some when the one who I love, my master, had to go through all these efforts and all that striving and leaving his mother when he did not have when father was not living at that time and he never met his mother because of the sacrifice of Deen which he did and for self purification he was not able to see his mother thereafter in his life. So if he was not able to be purified fully and to qualify without going through the stages under the instruction of Mashayat, then I who loved him will just not achieve that by just saying that I love him or I follow him somehow. I also have to go through the process. All people sitting in their homes, living as Muslims, all wants to become the awliya. They have wish they are awliya Allah. They are friends of Allah. But why some become friends of shaitan and some become fr friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because they don't choose the path. So this is the path which I'm going to explain to you. After that, as I said, no one is purifying. You have to follow a particular course and thus get enough course to be purified. But Alhamdulillah, from the knowledge point of view, the ignorance will be purified. Your mind will be purified that you will know where is the door. When you know there is an exit door there for fire, if you do not want to use that door, Alhamdulillah. But if you feel the need to use that door, the person who knows where the door is, he can escape. Similarly, maybe many person, many people do not want to take the course or be purified. But when they will feel the need, when the world will reject them, when shaitan will also reject them, shayateen and dunya will reject them, and if they feel need at that time, alhamdulillah, then they will have a door, they will know where to go or what it is, alhamdulillah. So today's uh, program, as you have seen, that inshallah, firstly we'll be going through the journey of human being, the purpose of existence, how to achieve that purpose, and also two preconditions of self-purification, and the methodology. So I'm going to go in detail, inshallah, uh, so do not worry if you do not understand what's written there. Then some additional features of the course, and some of the obstacles which hinder people not to be uh, take the purification course or not to purify themselves. What are the reasons why people, some of the reasons and the causes we'll discuss. And then finally conclusion. So Alhamdulillah to make you feel the need that why, what is the scene, what is the backdrop, what is the background, why we need this athlete, you need to understand this diagram. This is basically the journey of human being, every human being from the first human being to the last one. Firstly, when there was nothing in existence, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, there was no arsh, no angel, no spirit, nothing, only Allah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created time. So the period of non-existence, or when Allah Azzawajal only existed is unlimited, even time did not exist at that time. So a period of non-existence when me and you were not there at all. Then Allah Azza wa Jal created the spirits as mentioned in the Quran and Sahih Hadith of ours in this world. Then we enter from here to this world in alam e arwah There Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a covenant from us that Alastu Birabikum, am I not your cherisher, your Lord, and the one who you should worship? And each and every spirit, mine, yours, they said, Palu Bala, they said, Yes, Ya Allah, you are our Lord, we won't forget, we will remember. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in other words, to interpret that said, now to prove that claim that you have believed, I am your Lord, I will send you uh, further in this dunya where we are now. They say you are here now. 
short period of existence till death. So here a person comes and me and you are here now to prove that claim and one day we have to uh, leave uh, this short life but how short it is you will also be surprised. Imagine if your life is span is 60 years. I'm not saying 60 years so do not be disappointed. I pray that you live 1000 years. But I'm just to give you an example. If average life lifespan of 60 years, if a person averagely sleeps or spends time on his bed 8 hours in 24 hours or more or less, approximately 22 years that person will be sleeping in his 60 years life. Just imagine. And people who sleep 10 hours, 12 hours, they can just estimate for themselves that 30 years almost and uh, they will sleep as well. First 13 years are spent in childhood when you are just getting grasped with the realities of the world and how things are, what is life, what, uh, what is money, what is fame, what are women. You are just taking in the information and you forget your childhood then. But that 13 years is spent like this. 15 years when a person is young, they attend school for six, seven, eight years. If they are adult, mostly people they work. Some work less, some work 12 hours, some work eight hours. If we take the minimum six hours even, still it will become 15 years of that. Two years a person, every person spends in a bathroom uh, for his washing need and his toiletry needs. And one year we can say that when a person is not enjoying life, Family is giving him grief, the society is giving him grief, his wife is giving him grief, or the wife or the husband is giving the grief, or the children are giving grief to parents, etc. Other illnesses, uh, physical illnesses. So one year in anxiety and problem, which a person does not enjoy life at all. So the actual living from 60 years span, which we can, if we subtract all of that, is six years. So you can say, <coughs> From 60 years life, 6 years is actually you are living. But Shaitan puts in my mind, you have very long life to live, 60, 70 years. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ul mata'ud dunya qaleel, wa mal hayatud dunya illa mata'ud gurur. This life is but not a deception and delusion. And this dunya is very, life is very short. So 6 years. So now you can just imagine if a person of 80 years life, he will live 8 years. Now in this six years life, if Alhamdulillah you get 60 years, but I don't know, some people if you visit the graveyard, you will see a grave of a 15 years old young man or young woman, 10 years old child, for 20 years old youngster. So there's no guarantee, but we're just an average. So one year people waste some time doing nothing, they're just wasting time. They have nothing to do, as they say, we are killing time, just sitting, doing nothing lying on the bed and doing uh, some other thing, wasting time basically not of the uh, benefit of this dunya on akhara. So now you can imagine that this short life, although this seems quite a rectangular box, but this actually is more shorter than that, six years. Now here a person who wants to be qualified as a uh, plumber or a, a doctor or somehow a training, maybe he have to do 15 year course since Childhood, he's been studying in a primary school, then in his secondary, then college and university. Fifteen years he spent in study, and at the end of the day he got a degree and he have no guarantee of job whatsoever. Or, but this six years, alhamdulillah, if you spend, and if you purify yourself, and you spend in accordance the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the messenger of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you can have enjoy internal and ever and ever life for six years. Six years is nothing to invest or seven years. But if you lose, then it's a very bad consequence. I have to be bold with you. There is no uh, middle way. So then a, when a person dies, he goes into a bird of barzakh, alam al barzakh, which is called. He lives there until the day of judgment. Until the day of judgment, person lives here. He will be punished there and rewarded as well. And after, if he has been purified, then Alhamdulillah, eternal life in Jannah. If not, then he has to be purified in hell. Remember, Muslims do not go 
other scholars say the Muslims 